hey guys back again in another video this is shubham and again i am coming here with a new and some kind of unique rom as most of our subscribers know that on this channel we review some of the unique and some of the best roms ever so again today we are reviewing some rom which is kind of different right from its name and also some of its theming and other styling stuffs too so this rom and you can say this os is name as the project sakura os which is of version 5.r so without any further ado let's get into this video and see how this rom is so now let's jump to its system and about section as usual we see in all the other roms moving toward the system you can see that this is running on the latest standard 11 version of project sakura which is of version 5.r also with its maintainer name which is extreme or noob and also with the latest security patch of 5th of april 2021 with kernel which is a silver core kernel so moving further to the system so we will see all the generic app, uh, options such as the language and input system profile and other developer options where you can see some other extra options too. So moving towards the launcher here you can see that you will get such options regarding wallpaper selection and you can set all the other options such as wallpaper styles the style of grid you want and all the other stuff such as clocks etc and all obviously android 11 out of the box. So let's now move towards the Sakura customizations or the features you got in this ROM. So moving towards the Sakura configs as you can see these are some of the features. Moving towards the very first feature which is the project Sakura is nothing but all the information about the ROM and its development. You can see these are the development team of this ROM and also you can see the available devices for which Sakura OS or project Sakura ROM is available. This is the wide range of devices moving further in the interfaces you can see all the options regarding deeming volte icon one ui settings action bar and all the other stuff in it this is the one ui action bar and you can just enable or disable it from the settings itself you can also disable it without any issues moving further in the interface is about the select theme option where you will get this mizu theme and also all the other themes this is some kind of pitch black theme and you will get wide variety of them which you will like the most. This some of the chocolate, ocean, etc. and all the other themes. The one which is by default I have set is the Mizu theme and this looks extremely dope at it got the completely transparent look. Moving further in quick settings you will get all the quick settings opacity and all the quick settings option. You can set the opacity of the quick settings to completely transparent by increasing or decreasing the opacity and also you can keep the solid quick settings bar too. So yeah that option works perfectly fine itself. So moving further you will get all the generic options as usual and I said such as QS style toggle and all the length and uh, size of the QS styles and all the other stuffs which works perfectly fine. Moving further is about lock screen customizations where you will get lock screen charging information option and also screen of animations which is CRT, scale and fade in fade out one. So you can select any of that and you can just roll up. Moving toward the gestures you will get this AOSP gestures option where you can keep any of the gestures or the navigation bars option you can also adjust the side of the navigation or the gesture pill as you can see increasing decreasing size will somehow will make you convenient as per your preferences so moving further this is the layout option and all the other option which you get in gesture setting moving further in notification you will get all the notification options vibrate on connect disconnect and all the other stuff now moving further to the lineage parts you will get something called as lineage parts this is basically which you used to get in all the lineage OS ROMs itself. They have included this too. So you will get all the generic lineage OS options too as they have included in it. So yeah that's some of the good thing and you will something get extra in this ROM. Moving towards the status bar as you can see that quick pull down which you used to get in old school type of lineage OS. 
you will also get in this rom you can set it to the left or right side of the quick setting and you are ready to go going towards the status bar icon you can select any of the status bar icon you want to include or you don't want to so these are some of the lineage os options which they included too going towards the miscellaneous you will get something as gaming mode and also volume steps option gaming mode is something which is available in this rom and that's pretty good for gamers and some enthusiastic gaming peeps going towards the sakura update then yes this feature is crashed for now i don't know why maybe they will fix in future updates so these are some of the customization with respect to quick settings panel where you can just keep any of the tiles from this given tiles itself and you can enable or disable it you will also get the fps information tile a tile with this rom and also this is something i like the most as you can see that below the date you will get this customized message every time you on your screen and trust me this is kind of accurate if you stay awake at night up to 1 to 2 am then it will show that you actually need some sleep or something like that when you wake up from the sleep it will show good morning or something like that so this is something kind of dope and i liked it now let's jump into the gaming performance of this rom as i said before the rom has a gaming mode in the box itself and as you can see this all of the gaming mode option which are also kind of generic and you will get in all the gaming mode itself all these option work pretty fine adding dynamically games into or all these such other options are working fine fps information as i mentioned before you will get the fps information when you can just see how your game works So this is the Call of Duty Mobile I played to see how the gaming performance is and there were just a minor or very few jitters I found at the starting of the game. Later on the entire gameplay was super smooth and stable and you will not face any of the major issues. So yeah in terms of gaming Sakura always is nailing it and you will probably like it too and yeah, as you can see this is 60 fps. Now let's go to the safety net check bypass. Yes, safety net check gets pipa bypass out of the box itself. Nowadays, every Android R or 11 ROM is having safety net check bypass. It's not like before where you have used to have to use Magis to get routed and to bypass safety net check. All the payment applications or banking applications such as Google Pay, Paytm, and all the generic banking apps work superbly fine. Phone Pay, etc. So yeah, in terms of banking applications, as safety net check bypass, there's no issue. Now let's move towards the battery performance of this ROM. So talking about the battery performance, then the battery performance was pretty good. I was about to get about six to seven, also sometimes seven to eight hours of screen on time. This screen on time of battery performance is something where I used to use some social media application like WhatsApp, Instagram, and did two to th three gameplays of Call of Duty Mobile. So you guys, in terms of battery, this ROM nails it, and you will like in terms of its battery performance too. No maximum heating issues were found by me. Now let's see about the direct sound enhancer and G cam. Talking about the direct sound enhancer, as everyone knows, this is some of the best customizer in terms of sound. And yes, this works perfectly fine and also included in this ROM. So enjoy music with maximum beats. Talking about the camera, then the generic camera is out of the box, which you will get with Sakura OS, but there's no nothing to worry about. So this camera also works perfectly fine. You will not find any issues. But as no, this camera sucks because it does have minimum specifications and features. But nothing to worry. G Cam 8.2 can be installed perfectly in this ROM, where you will get some pre-installed zoom features, and also you will get 40 4K 60 FPS recording. So yeah, just install the APK of the GCam 8.2, and you are ready to go to take quality photos and shoot quality videos. So yeah, GCam also works perfectly fine in this ROM, and you can ready to go with installing with just a single APK. Now it's time to jump to the conclusion. So as a final words, I must say that this ROM is pretty dope and cool. You might notice that there are no some special features or customizations in terms of this ROM. But yes this rom is pretty stable and again you can use it as a daily driver. I have used it rom for almost 1 week and I didn't found any of the major issues or any of the stuff which will interrupt my daily life. 
the rom is something unique in terms of its ui as you can see that transparent ui and user interface which is something looks dope and also which is something cool so yeah this rom is stable and you can surely try this out as this rom is cool in every aspect so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such content upcoming and also leave a comment if you have any of the issues or any doubt until then see you again in the very next time peace out and happy flashing see you again in the next one